first bet that won that night and half of that parlay that cashed for Mike. Asker Askarov beat one-time title challenger Tim Elliott by unanimous decision and nearly had the finish in the first round. He landed some heavy shots. I'm surprised it wasn't called. It got a little bit closer as the fight progressed. As you can tell, Asker Askarov was starting to slow somewhat, and Elliott was just doing his shaking his head, trying to wave Askarov towards him, <laughs> and then throwing one or two strikes and then doing the same thing, trying to make it seem that Askarov wasn't doing anything, even though sheer output, he was clearly beating uh, Elliott. I was a little bit nervous for the scorecards because sometimes the type of antics that Elliot does you can kind of know. sway judges. But I thought it was a very, very clear win for Askar Askarov. And that was our first bet of the night that when you guys won unit, he was minus 135 against Tim Elliott. And then going back, the parlay that we scored for you guys, which was Mike's bet, started with Askar Askarov and finished with Carlos Diego Ferreira submitting Anthony Pettis, which gave us a perfect night even at that point, just from the podcast. So, Mike, if you have anything to say about Askar Askarov versus Tim Elliott, I know I'm kind of going a little bit backwards here, but any additional thoughts there? Yeah, the the fight was really exciting, especially that first round. I, I couldn't believe that Tim Elliott uh, took that str- those strikes, and he was literally standing there unconscious. I, I, I've never, I don't think I've seen a fighter uh, lose consciousness standing and then come back to it. But it was just incredible that uh, that he could do that. So mad props to Elliot for being the warrior that he is. But the truth of the matter is, is that uh, output numbers wise and volume, like we talked about, was winning on the scorecards and not to mention the power. It, it, it doesn't even matter if it was a jab or his power punch. Askar Askarov has some heavy hands for being a small guy. And so it was it was impressive. I'm happy he got the win. But certainly when the judges uh, read the scorecards, I was shitting bricks. Well, and this is a perfect example of how me and Mike have talked about how much we like volume strikers because all other things being equal, they're winning the fight. I, I'm sorry. They just are. Um, obviously, sometimes the judges kind of screw you every once in a while. But in general, give me a pressure fighter who can th- constantly throw an outland. I'm going to go with them most every time. 